hi welcome back to yet another tech tutorial and in this video i'm going to introduce you to using classes in python uh, if you're wondering what classes are then you are definitely right at the right place because i'm going to show you how to use classes in python uh, now classes are extremely important in programming and they are not specific to python in fact a lot of other programming languages like javascript c++ yeah support classes so we use classes to define new types and to model real concepts now let's start into the jump into the video so i'll just select a file like i have created a file our hello world.py so we'll just start by creating a class by using the class keyword so class then uh, now right after that we're going to give this class a name so a name let's imagine of a car so We'll write a car so you'll notice that after when i'm defining the name of this class i've used i've capital capital in the first letter of the of the word car so this one is popularly known as the pascal naming convention where we capitalize the first letter of each of each one if you are to have two words say for example email client then we will have to capitalize the first letter of each one like here we have capitalized client in c in client and e in email so this one is popularly known in the world of the pascal naming convention so it is uh, used in naming in giving names to classes so we just get back to our our car class so car then we use a full column now we to use a full column which shows that we want to define a block of code so inside this block of code we want to add diff uh, the functions and the methods that belong to the class car so let's start by like uh, defining a method met uh, method so we we'll start with def so let's imagine on the type of cars yeah like mustang tesla yeah and all those types so we'll just use two types so here i'll just use the mustang i'll just write mustang then at the end we we'll use a full column so uh uh in vs code uh, this in vs code in the open parenthesis we, we have to add the word self so self is a special keyword and i'm going i'm getting back to, to it shortly but in other uh, programming environments like uh, pycharm the word self automatically writes itself on within the parenthesis so in vs code you'll have to manually add it so with, we are, with, with this function we want to print like uh, any word on the terminal like uh, like master okay so we jump out of this function so we are we had add a new method so we use a def now we use a tesla so inside this parenthesis and don't forget inside this parenthesis you should add self but in some yeah as i've told you that in some code editors it is automatic but in this case we just have to add it manually so at the end here we add a, a colon then we want to print tesla on the terminal so print tesla okay so now just to recap here so we have defined our class car and inside this class we have added our methods like we have the method here mustang and tesla so these are the methods inside the class so with this so with this class we defined a new type and we can create new objects so an object is an instance of a class so to create an object we type out the name of a class so first of all let's jump out of the we had two line breaks and remove the indentation so we can call our our class so we just We'll call it like a function, so then add the open parenthesis. So this creates a new object and then returns it. We can store that object in a variable, say point one. So home, so say point point one is equal to car. So we have stored the class car in a variable. So now when we use the dot operator, like go to the next line, then write point one. Point one. Now, when we use the dot operator, you'll see that we have this other method. So this one I call magical methods, and we look at it later. So, 
now let's call the the mustang function so the oh, the mustang method yeah let me use the term method because the function can uh, a little bit confuse you so just type there yeah so when you run this program it will print uh, it will print mustang on the terminal so you have seen so this one you call the mustang so we can also call the the second method which is the tesla method so we just write you the dot operator so like point one dot uh, tesla so there's the tesla then you add that so when you run this program it will print both both the mustang and the tesla because we, we have called the the two methods yeah so So apart from methods, these objects can also have attributes and these attributes are the variables are, are like variables that belong to a particular object. For example, after we define point one, we can set we can set point one dot x. So point one point one dot x mm, to set point one dot x is equals to ten. So that when you've assigned a, a variable, we have added the variable to point one. So we can easily print out these attributes. Let's print point one dot x. So you just come here, then print. You use the print function. Now point one dot x. Just let me remove that. So when we run our program, so it will print the variable term and uh, that we assign. So it's just like I've said that these uh, we can also have attributes, and these attributes are like variables that belong to a particular object. So we can create another object. Let's say point two. Let's say point two. Sorry, point two. Now this point two, let's assign it to our car. So car. So this oh, this object is completely different from the first object. So if you print like point two dot x, so let's try point two. Point two dot x. Now let me just use the print function. Print point two dot x. So when we try to run our, uh, our let's let's try to run our program and let's see what happens. So when we click the run button. So you'll see that we get the this error, that attribute error. Car object has no attribute x. So uh, it means so each it means that each object is an instance of a of a po of a point class, and these point classes are different. So that's all. That's how it's uh, it's just that easy to use uh, classes in Python. So yeah. So about the self that I told you that I'll look at it later. So. You can check it on, out on the web. So I checked out uh, what is the use of self in, Py in Python. So the self is used to represent the instance of, our, of the class. With this keyword, you can access the attributes and methods of class in Python. So it binds the attribute with the given arguments. This is this, the reason why we use uh, self in the, is that Python does not use the art. So this Python doesn't recognize this, so that's why you use the self. So it doesn't recognize this, so that's why you use the self. So syntax to refer to instance or attributes. So yeah, so like it, the self function it binds the attribute to the given arguments. So that's why it is very important to use self. And for you to use uh, the self, so uh, just like I said, 
in some in some code uh, in some code editors it is automatic and some you have to insert it to so before the video ends uh, let me just leave with a little bit of exercise so i want you to be imagining of the different types of houses and uh, use a class and inside the class define methods and inside these methods define uh, like print on the terminal like for a type of a, a house like maybe a bungalow you print out on the terminal the price and the location of the of the house yeah so it's a pretty simple exercise and you can you can be able to go over it and uh, yeah, before you leave if you like the video please uh, hit on the subscribe button and the bell button the bell button so that you'll be getting notified each time i upload new content